Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Artis, the best Figma plugins for web designers, episode 3, but episode 1 for 2023. And I was going to be focusing on Figma plugins that use AI technology, but unfortunately some of these plugins that I have found are still not there yet in terms of usability and some of them actually have waited list, wait listed me. So probably next month we will have such a video. In the meantime, we're going to be talking about some, let's call them basic, normal plugins that actually are pretty helpful as well. And I'm adding them to my collection of plugins for web designers. So let's get into it right now. All right, so the first plugin we are going to be talking about is called HTML to design. And it says here exactly what it does. It converts any website into a fully editable Figma design, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Let's try it and let's see what we can achieve. I've done this before, obviously, without. I mean, it's pretty accurate and pretty insane. So I'm going to take as an example, Apple's website, and not their link because their link doesn't work for some reason. Let's wait for a bit. Sometimes it gives errors. It's not a perfect plugin. All right, ah, okay. So what happened is if you go to settings, you can choose your frame. So I had the iPhone 13 S frame from a previous test. Okay, but this is also something that I wanted to show you. So there you go. <laughs> this is how their design looks on a mobile device. I believe it's pretty accurate. All right, let's 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 try to convert this to an actual map frame. And let's go back. So it generates next to it, hopefully. Yes, right next to it. So, all right, let me just move it a little bit and Look at this. Yeah, it's pretty much as it is here generated by this plugin. Let's move on to Netflix's website because this was pretty accurate when I tried to copy it. Let me just move it a little bit so we don't have problems with layering on the Canva and where is it all right okay it's a short page and you can see it is pretty accurate so this is how it looks like obviously the the videos will not show because they don't show but if you look at it it is almost perfect and as i said without the videos which is pretty cool. Okay, the last one I'm going to do, as an example, I will try to export my website. Also, my website was pretty accurate with, without the video that is on the hero page, which is here. Let me just move it like this, a little bit like this. So, as you can see, this is scaringly accurate. Seriously, like, look at this. It is exactly this way. Ah, let me see. Yeah, it's exactly the same. How crazy is this? Let me see the gradient. How cool is this? I mean, you can just copy the gradient. Oops, fucked it up. <laughs> As you can see, that's how it looks. Exactly like that. Let me try to do a iPhone 13. You can skip at this point if you're not interested, but I want to try this. I did not try this with my website. So let's see how it looks. Right, so yes, the video should be here. That's pretty accurate then. Yeah, obviously this is, this doesn't look like this on mobile. Only if you're scrolling, very accurate. So there you go, use it however you think. All right, now let's move on to the next one. Our next plugin is called Noise and Texture. And I've talked before about a noise, and I've talked in a previous video, I think it was the first video, about a plugin that, that generates noise. And it is called as simple as noise. There it is. But this one is like an extra level. All right, let's run our 
plugin, the noise and texture plugin. And let's talk about this here. Does each of this do? And how do you actually make your noise? So this here, it is actually the noise, the noise generator. And what we are going to do is going to go down basically to the minimum. Yeah. We can reduce the amount or increase the amount, which I'm going to do to about here. And then I'm also going to reduce the opacity and let's create a shape, give this a color so we can see the actual difference. So now I'm going to, basically you can also change the color of your noise. And I think I am going to go a little bit down to gray kind of and I'm going to add it to Canva. So this is our noise. To be honest, I don't like how it looks. This gray does not look good. So I am going to go back to the original white and there you go, generate it. And what I'm going to do is add it to our shape. And I can also generate a black one. And this is one of them. Let's go to try another texture and I'm going to remove the noise. And what I will do is actually add all this textures and noise generated on this shape so we see how they actually look in context let's say let's move on to our next plugin and the last plugin for today is called remove BG and it does exactly what it says it does and it does it pretty well so let's try it I'm going to go to unsplash plugin and this is another plugin but this is like so so basic that you I don't even have to mention it here right or maybe I should let's see let's add a photo that we want to remove the background of something Okay, let's let's go with this dude here. Okay, so we have the dude. And obviously we want to remove the background. So I'm going to close this plugin and I'm going to open the remove BG. And for this plugin, you, you have to set up an API key. And that means that you will have to go to their website, create an account, and then you will go here and you will find your API, which this is mine, but please don't copy it. I will actually blur it. <laughs> anyway, so let me go again back to remove BG, run it because I have it set up. And how cool is this, right? I mean, look at the detail. Let me just add a simple plain color behind it. Let me bring it to front. And as you can see, the image is pretty clean. Let's maybe do another one as an example and add all of them on this frame. Let's go to Unsplash. Let's look for another image. Let's go to find a 3D element. Oh yeah, this one. I mean, how cool is this one? And let's see if we can remove Oh, yes. I mean, hello. How cool. Let's put it behind him. Go to Unsplash, run again, and look for 3D shapes. This is really interesting. All right, let's see if we can remove the background and how it's going to look. And it doesn't look bad, to be honest. 
looks very very freaking cool i mean this is addictive if you'd like to see what other plugins i have been recommending in previous episodes watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time